Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel, Mrs Homemaker UK. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make these scrunchies. Also, keep watching to find out how you can win one of these scrunchies in my giveaway. In this video, I'll be showing you two different ways of making this scrunchie. Now on to method one. You will need fabric, pins, a safety pin, thread, scissors, elastic or a hairband and a ruler and a pencil. Start by cutting your fabric 22 inches long lengthwise by 4 inches wide. For a more voluminous scrunchie just add a couple more inches to the measurement. Cut your elastic 9 inches long. You can make it a little bit longer than this if you want more stretch to your scrunchie. And now press your fabric. Fold the fabric in half with the right sides facing in, like so. Pop some pins in place all along this raw edge line where we are going to sew in the next step. and fold one end under like so, fold it about half of an inch like so, pop a pin in place and now we are going to sew all along this edge where I am pointing Use whichever seam allowance size you prefer, here I'm using this line as my guide but you can use like a 1cm seam allowance or even a 1.5cm seam allowance. If you want added security you can repeat this step and sew over the line you just sewed to make it extra secure. Now to turning the fabric with the right side out and using a safety pin to do so. Pop the safety pin through the middle of the scrunchy tube and feed it through with your fingers. It will take a while but just be patient and it will reach the other end and you can pull it all through easily. Now onto the pressing, first press it like so and then press it so that the seam here is flat so it's all even. With a safety pin pass the elastic through the middle of the scrunchy tube. Bunching up the scrunchy tube as you go along and as you see I'm using my finger as like a guide to push the fabric towards the safety pin and then pull the safety pin out and tie a knot. Move the knot to the side by pulling the elastic around. This will move the knot out of the way and make the next step much easier. As you see here are the edges that we need to finish in the next step but first trim off the loose threads. Tuck the raw edge side under the folded edge side like so. Pop a pin in place to keep it still when we machine sew it now or you can tack sew it will be much more accurate. Now we're going to sew, I'm literally using a couple of millimetres seam allowance away from the folded edge here. And trim off any little bits like this as you can see. Finish the scrunchie by just moving the ruffles around, distributing them evenly or as you prefer. So that was method one. And before I show you method two, 
I want to first show you how the shops make their scrunchies. This is a Primark scrunchie made from a jersey fabric. It has visible seams as you can see. And now I'm going to unpick those seams to see if they have used either of my methods of making a scrunchie. So where I am unpicking now, it looks as though it has been hand sewn. However, a lot of the companies now, their machinery can make things look hand sewn even when it's not. Straight away, I can see they have used the method we have used where you need to turn one side under. As you can see, the elastic looks very curly. I'm not sure if that's just because it's aged and it was a straight elastic to begin with. They've just used a basic elastic. It appears with this seam they folded the edges under before sewing that seam. So that's pretty much it. They've made it in what looks like exactly the same way we have made it and they've made it about 2.5 inches wide. This results in a less voluminous look to the scrunchie. Okay, so now on to method two, using a hairband instead of the elastic we used in method one. And the same equipment as before, such as your pins, scissors, a tape measure or ruler, and something to mark with, such as a pencil. Start by cutting your fabric make it 3.5 inches wide or around that by 17 inches long, more or less. Now press the fabric. We are now going to fold the fabric in half over the hairband like so. We are doing this just so that the hairband is in the middle of the fabric so when we sew it in the next step, the hairband is in place. You can also pop a pin just to hold it down. I'll show you that step again from a slightly different angle. I'm grabbing the hairband with the fabric like so. And I'm just showing you this will be the line we will be sewing next. And as you see, as you go around, it starts to bunch up all around like a scrunchie. Make sure the hairband is on the left hand side away from the sewing needle and now sew down this line like so. As you keep sewing along down this line you will have to kind of straighten everything out because the hairband fabric will start to bunch up around the hairband. Use whichever seam allowance size you prefer, here I'm using my sewing machine lines as my guide and obviously the smaller the seam the more voluminous the scrunchie will end up looking. Remember to back stitch at the end here and if you want added security you can sew all around again the line we've just sewn. Your scrunchie should look like this at this stage. Now turn the scrunchie with the right side of the fabric facing out. You can do this just with your fingers like so. You see I'm pushing the fabric inside and then Pulling it out. As you are pulling the fabric out at this stage, you can also tuck and fold those raw edges under and inwards back inside the scrunchie like so. Be sure to take your time with this step to get the best, neatest finish. Now using any other coloured thread, like this bright colour, tack stitch in place the edges we've just folded under. Take one of the ends and put it under the other one that's folded under. Also, for the neatest finish, make sure that the seam here is lined up so it's one continuous line. Now tack stitch along this line. If you don't know what tack stitch means, it's just a hand sewn straight stitch, a loose type of stitch to keep everything down. As you can see, I have lined the seam up and everything is neatly lined up, ready to be hand sewn. Because the hand sewing takes a while, I like to tack a few of them or however many I'm making all at the same time. That way I can hand sew all of them in one stage whilst watching a nice documentary or something.
This hand sewing stage takes a while but the finish as you can see is very neat and seamless, you can barely see it. So that's method 2 and method 1 complete and now you have all of these lovely scrunchies. And as mentioned at the start of the video, I want to give away a scrunchie to four of my subscribers. So if you would like to have a scrunchie as a thank you from me, then all you need to do is in the comments section below, write which colour scrunchie you like, the pink or the blue fabric, and if you want a large or a small size. And remember to obviously hit subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And the four lucky subscribers will receive a comment back from me in the comment section, so please keep an eye out in the comment section below this video. And finally, I'm only able to post these to subscribers within the UK because of the current coronavirus situation. I'm not sure if it will reach you if I post outside of the UK because of all the restrictions. But I am planning on doing many more giveaways to my very loyal subscribers. So please do keep subscribing and keep watching. May you all stay safe and in the best of health. Take care and see you next time.